All right. So this is another important article about model editing with the title LoRa, which is low rank adaptation of large language models. This important paper in 2021 from Microsoft. An important paradigm of natural language processing consists of large-scale pre-training on general domain data and adaptation to particular tasks or domains. As we pre-train larger models, full fine-tuning, which retrains all model parameters, becomes less feasible. Using GPT-3 uh, 175B as an example, Deploying independent instances of fine-tuned models, each with 175B parameters. So when you have 175 billion parameters, it's prohibitively expensive. We propose low-rank adaptation, or LoRa, which freezes the pre-trained model weights and injects trainable rank decomposition matrices into each layer of the transformer architecture, greatly reducing the number of trainable parameters for downstream tasks. So you see the, our, uh, our, our reparametrization that we only train A and B. We only train this one and this one. The blue one is frozen. So these are terminologies uh, we call the input and output dimension size of transformer layer D model. We use WQ, W, KWV, and WO to refer to the query key value and output projection matrices in the self-attention module. So suppose we are given a pre-trained autoregressive language model. P a Y condition and X parameterized by fit. For instance, P can be a generic multitask learner such as GPT based on transformer architecture. Consider adapting this pre-trained model to downstream conditional text generation tasks such as summarization or machine reading comprehension, natural language to SQL. Each downstream task is represented by a, tree, uh, by a training data set of context target pairs, where both X sub i and Y sub i are sequences of tokens. For example, NL2 SQL X sub i is a natural language query, and Y sub i is corresponding SQL command. So during full fine tuning, the model is initialized to pre-trained model weights phi, phi, so, phi zero and updated to phi zero plus delta phi by repeatedly following the gradient to maximize the conditional language model objective. One of the main drawbacks for full fine tuning is that for each downstream task, we learn a different set of parameters. Thus, if uh, the pre-trained model is large, for example, GPT-3, storing and deploying many independent instances of fine-tuned models can be challenging, if at all feasible. So they adopt a more parameter-efficient approach, where the task-specific parameter increment is further encoded by a much smaller size set of parameters. The task of finding delta phi thus becomes uh, an optimization. So this low rank update matrices, the weight matrices in these layers typically have full rank. For example, a neural network contains many dense layers. But when adapting to a specific task, this reference shows that pre-trained language models have a low intrinsic dimension and can it still learn efficiently despite a random projection to a smaller subspace. 
So we hypothesize the updates to the vase also have a low intrinsic rank during adaptation. For a pre-trained weight matrix W0, we constrain its updates by representing the latter with a low rank decomposition. So W0 plus, and uh, yeah, so we decompose it into low rank B and A, a rank of R is uh, less than minimum of uh, D and Q. So W0 is frozen and does not receive gradient updates while this A and B contain trainable parameters. So that's it, that is the reparameterization. So we only train A and B, which are the weights then applying it to transformer. But to measure subspace similarity between two column orthonormal matrices, we use this measure. 